Gun Bash here, and uh, a lot of people have been asking for me to show off my figure collection. Um, I'm just going to really be showing the movie masterpiece stuff that I have, but as you can see, this is my whole collection. I'll go through each figure so you can see them. So uh, this right here is a figure that I literally just put together with a bunch of extra parts that I had. Nothing special, just, you know, I had the parts, not, you know, don't let it go to waste. Uh, sorry if my hands are shaky, uh, I don't have the steadiest of hands. But uh, this right here is my, hold on, let me get this, is my uh, red suit Spider-Man. Um, it's a really nice figure, I really like it. Uh, the only problem I have with it is that on the side over here, you can see like his chin, the way the suit is connected, it like makes it look like he has a double chin, but there's an easy mod you can do to fix that, but I don't want to mess it up. Uh, right here on the side right here is the black suit Spider-Man. Oh, let me get this off me. The black suit Spider-Man, uh, really nice, really detailed, it's really good. Uh, this one, I have Peter Parker. Uh, he has a camera, and uh, this head actually came with that Spider-Man, but I stuck it on another body and gave it some clothes, some shoes, and did all that. Uh, next up is the special version of War Machine, aka the Oreo War Machine, because he's white and black. Right here we have Tony Stark, which is uh, Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark. Uh, then right here I have my first ever figure, uh, Iron Man Mark IV. Gorgeous, beautiful, love them. Uh, right here is the 1989 Michael Keaton Batman. Yeah, it just looks just like him, doesn't it? Uh, then right here we have the 1989 Jack Nicholson Joker. Uh, right here is my Keith Ledger Joker. He's actually made of a bunch of different Joker parts. He has the bank robber Joker head, the DX coat, the regular Joker clothes, he has like the DX tie. So it's just a bunch of different of like the best pieces of every Joker figure that I could find put together into one. Uh, right here is the regular Hot Toys Joker. Doesn't really look like Keith Ledger, but all in all it's still a pretty cool figure. So I decided to get it. Right here is Jack Sparrow, Johnny Depp is Jack Sparrow, have him in this pretty pose that, you know, Jack Sparrow usually does. Right here we have Indiana Jones from Raiders of the Lost Ark. It was good. Uh, my arm is starting to get tired. Right here I have uh, Will Smith as Agent J from Men in Black. And Frank the Dog. <laughs> And then right next to him is Agent K from Men in Black. Agent K. Right here is the Terminator. <laughs> I really, really like this figure. I really like the Terminator movie. The T-800. Okay, going back over here. Right here we have Battlesuit Jill from Resident Evil 5. She was actually my first female figure that I got. Uh, then we have Chris in his stars uniform. Uh, what actually ended up happening with Chris is uh, he had a big buff rubberized body and the joints started to crack from the rubber so I had to replace his body. Not really happy with it because you know you can't find a body as buff. Now his clothes don't really fit all that well anymore but hey you know I guess it could be you know Chris from RE1 when he wasn't that buff. Right here everybody's fan fucking favorite. Wesker, Stars Wesker. Really nice. His eyes light up too, and the sunglasses come off. Uh, right here is Baby Doll from Sucker Punch. Uh, Sucker Punch is one of my all time favorite movies. I love that movie, love the style and all that. So I got uh, Baby Doll, and I got Amber from Sucker Punch. Really, really nice figures, very detailed. There's a lollipop. Then right here, everybody's favorite bounty hunter, Boba Fett. It's really nice, very detailed. I actually just got him like a couple days ago.
Then uh, right here we have Commander Bly. I can never remember his name. It's a clone trooper. I really liked like his little shoulder pads and like his little cape with the two pistols and stuff. I thought he was really cool. So I ended up getting him. Then right here is a 442nd Siege Battalion Trooper. That's what it's called. That's what it says on the box. I'm not even. I just like him because green's my favorite color, and I wanted a you know a green stormtrooper type clone trooper. Comes with this big blaster. He's like a sniper. And then right here we have a Republic Clone Commander. You know, nice and detailed. They all look really really nice. So. That is just a small section. Well, not a small section, but that's the bulk, most, of, uh, this is all of my Movie Masterpiece figures. Uh, the, um, uh, I have a couple of other, like, artifact statues, and I don't even know how to say it, Kota Bakuya? Kota something. Like, I have a Deadpool statue and a Doctor Doom statue. A couple other figures, but this is mainly just my pride and joy. <laughs> really beautiful um, hey I like to collect pretty stuff um, yeah if you guys have any questions about the figures um, the, these I don't know frequently asked questions I guess is where do I get them uh, there's actually about two or three stores near me that sell stuff like this um, so I usually go there but mostly I just order them online um, uh, how much do they cost? They all range in price, but if you're going to start collecting these figures, uh, it's best to collect them when they first come out, because that's when they're cheapest. The moment that they go out of stock is when they start jacking up in prices. Like, I mean, ridiculous. I'm talking like $500, $600, $700 per figure, and that is ridiculous. But, uh, uh they're all pretty good. It's, I love them. I love them a lot. So, uh, just wanted to show them off and, you know, give you guys an idea of what I collect and what I like, and, uh, yeah. Bye!